Oh, this garage is a disaster. We'll leave that mess for later. We are officially taking the new truck camper set up on its maiden voyage tonight. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this for a while. Before we take off, I wanted to show you the wiring that I redid. This setup is a battery isolator solenoid and it links two batteries and my alternator charges both batteries without killing the, the regular starting battery. If you want me to go into full nerd mode sometime, I will. Anyway, I gotta get on the road. We got about a three and a half hour drive. The one thing I'm missing right now is a comforter for my new mattress, but I do have a sleeping bag. Quite the weather we're having too. Not necessarily the most ideal to be towing a boat in. Is Minnesota spring ever gonna come? Find out in today's mysteries. Ah, oh, dude. Right now we're working with about 29 degrees. It's pretty warm, um, but not really for this time of year. It's kind of spitting rain and snow every once in a while. Still haven't really decided what I want to make for food tonight. Something warm, that's for sure. Dude, I just got pulled over. I almost freaking cried. If I get one more speeding ticket this year, I get uh, I get my license revoked. The road trip back from uh, Fort Peck this winter was bad to me. I ended up getting two speeding tickets on the way back home, like right before Fargo and right after. If I get one more ticket, I get my license suspended. So I thought that was it right there, but it just turned out to be, turns out I was going the speed limit, but the, uh, the deputy apparently is a viewer of the channel. So that was, That's wild. Oh, look at that ice. That's not good. <laughs> oh no. Well, hopefully this thing still works. Let's go get our groceries like we're supposed to. Hi. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. I fresh off the plane, I check my chains and know my luggage. You think that design will make you different, but it doesn't. It's crazy. Bruh. Bruh. Oh my god! Oh my god! Y'all got a death wish? Y'all wanna die? Get out of here! Get going! What is this? Dude, Northern Minnesota be full of wildlife, huh? One thing I forgot to grab before I left was some of my soft plastic lures. Um, I'm running low on some, so I'm gonna stop at a local bait shop.
All right, just get my diesel heater started here. There's where the exhaust is. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> It feels like a completely different place. This is so cool. Oh my gosh, this makes me so happy. Woo, that's nice and warm. It's so nice to be able to sit up like this in my truck though. For those of you that don't know, I rebuilt my truck camper setup. This is the new setup. Oh, sweet. The heater's starting to chill out a little bit. Here's a better look at like the diesel heater setup. So I've got it vented out right here um, underneath my bed. So there's the battery. The fuel pump is inside of that little box right there. I put it in that box just to try to muffle it a little bit. And then the diesel heater is actually in this little cubby right here. It's sitting under there. Woo, she is warm. I am worried about the fuel pump because it's right next to my head. We'll have to see if it's an issue after tonight. It's my first night after all. But this is so much cozier, man. Definitely took my time getting up here. It was uh, it's a long drive, but carbon monoxide detector probably should be ripping. Tonight I'm gonna be making tater tot hot dish, but the only problem is, I don't know if I brought a pan that's gonna fit in the air fryer. So let's test fit something really quick. Rang. No way. No way is that, that fits in there, let's go. I made this little cubby right here so I can maybe utilize it as like a trash can or something. So we're gonna shove our bag in there. I love this. It's so organized, it's nice. It's beautiful. All right. First things first, I need to cut up like a half an onion. So hunching over, why don't I just pop this bad boy up? We're it cooking. So I'm gonna cut this part off. I'm gonna cut it in half. Don't peel this. I was just digging in jigs and stuff. I should probably wash my hands. Alrighty, save the rest of this onion. Let's we'll set him in this bag for now. Tater tots, veggies, and some cheese. Next thing we're gonna need is to get out our stove. I'll take that and then we'll do a fork and a spoon. Bring this bad boy out. Propane can. Do I have, please tell me I have a connector. Oh no. There's my first mistake. I didn't bring the connector piece for the propane to the stove. Idiot. Do we think we can cook this entire meal on the air fryer? We'll find out. So my idea is to heat the pan up in here and then cook this stuff in the air fryer. I just hope this works. Maybe I just throw the onions in there. Definitely not the way that I wanted to do it, but here we are. All right, well, here goes nothing. I hope this works. It's gonna definitely take longer. Oh! Wow, that's a lot more cooked than I thought it was gonna be. Look at all that! This is gonna work!
dude, this is actually gonna work. Oh, I'm so, I feel so dumb for forgetting that. Can't remember everything, right? Just as long as I remembered everything to go fishing for the next couple days. I like this kind of cooking. I don't have to do anything. <laughs> it's really funny because like the first time I'm using this, um, it already, it like feels so much better. Like normally when I'm cooking like this in here, um, I always have to be like laying kind of horizontal and I'm getting really tired. I'm actually able to like sit up and read, hang out, Let's take a check on these guys. Give them a little, give them a little shake. This is awesome. Crispy potatoes. Gotta get some veggies in there, right? And then, ba ba ba. And here's the ancient Chinese secret right here. Uh, I'm supposed to pour water in this? I was expecting that to be a lot more drippy. And the last touch. You can tell why Midwesterners are husky. This is a delicacy in my homeland. Tater tot hot dish. Yay! There we go. All done. Mm. Tater tot hot dish. All right, there you have it. Air fryer, tater tot hot dish. Strictly cooked in an air fryer. Mmm. Onions are a little bit raw. That's okay. They're not horrible. And then the veggies are, probably should have let them uh, frost out a little bit in there because they're just cold, but for not having a stove, this thing's bussing. So good. This is a Midwest delicacy, and I'm so hungry right now. Don't judge me, but I will probably eat this whole entire thing. If you guys have never made this before, give it a try. Because if I can make it that good in an air fryer, imagine what you can do in a kitchen. This little desk setup isn't quite how I pictured it was going to be. I honestly thought for some reason it was going to be going over my knees. I definitely did not have a table in my last build. Also, how often did you see me take off my sweatshirt? It's toasty in here. Cream of mushroom soup. Well, I wasn't lying. All right. You definitely don't get adventure like this in a house or apartment, that's for sure. Pretty cool setup here. I'm liking it. It's actually amazing. It feels complete, it's a completely different experience. <laughs> oh, why didn't I do this sooner? Got a good meal in my stomach. Got a cool truck build. I'm really enjoying the first night. All right, we're gonna grab some rest now and then I'll see you See you in the morning. Well, first night in truck camper setup didn't go too bad. Honestly, a lot nicer than the old setup, so I'm excited for the new adventures. Hopefully you are too. As always, until next time, you have another drill. Just keep on trucking.